So, if you've ever been on the Roblox, like, discovery page, and you're looking at some games, you come across this weird category, like, climb a mountain or something, and some, I don't know why, but these climbing some random mountain games are very popular, and so I decided to find out why the, this weird genre, I don't know, like, people favor it so much. I climbed every one of these games. And this is my experience going up every mountain on Roblox. And I literally don't care if you if you guys comment this isn't every mountain on Roblox. I I don't care, bro. I I spent 6 hours doing this. So let's start off with Mount Everest climbing and all of these like mountain games, you have to get like your gear in like this gear tent or something. I don't know why they do that. It's, they should just spawn you in like that, but you have to get your gear. And you get to like camp one and two super easily on this game. But like these camps have like restocks on food and water and air. So it's like a lifesaver. It kind of sucks if you die because if you die, you waste an hour. This like climbing mountain game is like no joke. It's like one hour long. I don't know why. And so like halfway into it, my brother died, so we rage quit. So I'm solo now. And it kind of was lonely, but I found some guy named Awesome Guy 6 Trillion and we became friends. And also like if you use the radio, you can communicate. So we communicated and Morse code. You got this bro, I believe in you. Okay, I'ma make it. But eventually, I was running out of supplies and he was stuck, so I just left him. Bro, don't make this harder than it has to be. Don't leave me, bro. I have to or else we'll both die. No, please. I have a family. Goodbye. <laughs> that was so cringe to record. I'm done. This video is over, bro. Okay, anyways. After some near-death experience, I made it. And apparently, um, that climbing difficulty was expert, but it was pretty easy, and I obviously beat it first try. And since you can spam the radio, I give it a 10 out of 10. Alright, Mount Kenya. So, the UI is better. Like, so much better. It looks better. And there are no air tanks. So... I don't know, is this climbing game a joke or something? Because that other game was kind of poo-poo. Yeah, so I, I did fall there, but... And I'm drowning because my gear's on. But never mind. I'm back. Okay, this is so dumb. This game literally is a joke. But it has no heals for some reason. I don't even know what's going on. Anyways, I thought it was going to be hard because I picked difficult mode. But 6 out of 10 game. Mount Everest. I know we did Mount Everest climbing, but this is Mount Everest. It's different because you can go different ways and different paths and the characters are different and there's a lot of pay to win stuff. Okay. Um, it's super confusing at the beginning too, but once you get your gear, the mountain is pretty fun and it isn't that difficult. But sometimes like the ladder decides not to work and then my hands decide not to climb or something. So I don't even know. What? Are you kidding me? I don't have my oxygen tank. And I'm one hour in and I'm almost done and I died. Okay, 0 out of 10 game. This game is terrible. <clears throat> Mount Makulu. Honestly, the game runs beautifully and it's not laggy. And it's super easy to tell where to go. It's a pretty good difficult game, but it's not like too hard. So... Yeah, like everything like looks super great and there isn't some random invisible walls like the other climbing games have these invisible walls So you have to go like the way they want you to but in Mount Makulu there isn't and so you can like Climb wherever you want. So that's like way more like relaxing. I guess it's It's like you don't have to worry about like pay attention exactly where to go Anyways, I don't know why this game doesn't have a lot of players because it's pretty fun compared to all the other garbage mountains I had to go through, but yeah, I also like the victory music. It's pretty inspirational. So 10 out of 10 game. 
and Expedition Antarctica. It isn't really a mountain game, but it was so fun, so whatever. And this is my video anyway, so the UI is great, and it doesn't feel like I'm flooded with game passes. Then there's an easy penguins to get through, and also penguins, let's go! And so many unique stuff, like... There's even a water section, and you get, like, multiple lives, so, like, if you, like, fail somewhere, like, it's okay. And sometimes, like, in your games, there's gonna be these, like, support, like, helicopter guys that come to help you if you need help. Uh, but I didn't need to use them, so... Yeah, this, uh, this last section was kind of weird, but it's a great game to play, and yeah, penguins equal good games, so yeah. And these mountain games, in my opinion, are alright. I spent like 6-7 hours playing them, so I should probably go to bed. Good night. Also, don't worry about Nuzlocke. It's coming next week. Don't comment where is Lumion Legacy. I know I have to grind my Lumions. That's why this episode's taking a while. So, see you guys.